Hello everyone, how are you? And um, as promised, this is the video version or video part, part two of the stability blog that I uh, just made an entry on. Maybe a lot of you haven't read it yet, but hopefully you will soon. Uh, in discussing originality and being genuine and basically putting those two aspects to, together to stabilize a business, um, you know, there's a theory I have of somewhere of bread and butter. Basically, on one side we have butter, on the other side we have bread, and we're going to put that together and make toast. Uh, to start off, okay, more inexpensive out of the two would be butter. But of course, many people do original things with their butter. Some people like to set it out. Uh, some people like to put it in a hot container, melt it. Some people like to put it in cake icing dispenser and make original designs with their uh, toast or whatever have you that they're going to be using butter on. However, it is a, a very important aspect to add to your foundation. So, for example, let's say we have some clothing. I'll bring you one item. This is one of the uh, first shirts we've uh, made, Swagnetics. And uh, it's the, the original actual uh, one that we've designed. And it's tattoo print. It says Swagnetics on it. And naturally, you know, it's an original. It's stored properly, it's taken care of right, if uh, channeled correctly, placed in certain places where its flavor is not compromised. It does well, and it does uh, catch eyes. It is an eye catcher. Um, actually, I've seen quite a few people ask me about it. And uh, just the last month, uh, I think most recently, about maybe last month, somebody asked me about the, what was going on with this particular one. So, you know, this is, like I said, the butter of the business. Like I said, different things could be done with it. It could be put just about anywhere, but just as long as you don't compromise the flavor and you take care of it properly. Now, part two is bread. Bread is the foundation. Bread is the most important part. Without the Without the bread, butter's not going to be all that effective. You're not going to have good, nobody's going to eat the butter by itself. So, bread is the foundation. It's much more important. It's something that we reach for. It's something that we use as a baseline each and every time. Something that people got to know it's there. Just in case we want some toast, it's time for breakfast. It's the first thing we're going to go for is bread. Very important on you know how you take care of it. it. Has to be packaged right. People have to know that it's a certain quality and a certain brand. So here we're now. I introduce to you Big Bad Bread. Adidas. Everybody loves and knows Adidas. Sort of just like Wonder Bread. Everybody knows and loves Wonder Bread. They don't care if it's white or whole wheat. They just want Wonder. In the same way. With this particular item, okay? They see it's genuine. There's no fruit and loom or hanes or anything like that. It's actually a, a, an official Adidas hoodie, and that's what they look for most of the times. In this kind of a business, they don't say hello to you. They don't. They don't ask you how you're doing today. They don't say may I. They don't say please. They just say two words: Adidas. Where? Why? Because they, they they love this brand. This is all they do. So you have to have this in order to have a sturdy foundation. And other name brands as well. But that's basically the bread of the business and that's pretty much it in theory you know, I hope I didn't take up too much of your time and I'm glad that you've taken the time to enjoy this blog with me and I'm going to let you go and um, stay tuned for the next blog that's going to be coming out we're going to be talking about development as far as where do we go from the beginning you know, after the startup aspect everything like that and uh, it'll be a little interesting to see certain things I'm going to discuss with you as far as what's uh, taken place in many re meetings that I've been in a lot of startups that I've seen so hopefully you catch my meaning uh, the visual aid has been brought to you by Gearsmith and of course just as I promised I hope you enjoyed part two and I will see you soon Godspeed